Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm discussing what are eye floaters and how to treat eye floaters naturally. So if you've ever experienced these annoying black spots in your vision, they are very, very common, but the good news is, is that you can absolutely take care of this naturally and make them go away. And of course, you're gonna check with your eye doctor to ensure that, you know, there's no pathology there, but most times these floaters are not not serious and it's not something that you really really have to worry about aside from the fact that they are very annoying. So one of the things that can cause them are protein buildup in the eyes, and this is in the vitreous part. So the vitreous, there's actually a fluid in this part of our eye, and now also red blood cells can cast a shadow on the retina on the back of the eye. So that is often the cause. And the thing that happens as we age is that this vitreous fluid actually gets more and more watery as we're aging, and then we can start to see more of those shadows. So you can especially experience this if you are looking on at the bright sun and then you look at something that like white paper or also on the snow surface. If you look at the sky, especially on a very bright day, this is usually when the floaters are more pronounced and yeah, they can be a pain. So one of my first tips to help with the floaters naturally is to certainly decrease the polyunsaturated fatty acids that are inflammatory. So these are usually the seed oils, so things like canola oil and unhealthy trans fats and these fats that can be hidden also in processed foods. These are things that you definitely want to stay away from. So margarine, the seed oils like safflower oil, sunflower oil, vegetable oil, and as I said, the canola oil, usually genetically altered and can be very inflammatory. So you wanna get those out of your diet. Also what you wanna do as tip number two is to increase your anti-inflammatory omega-3s, and that's especially your DHA, and this is really important for your eyes and the health of your eyes because that DHA actually concentrates in the eyes and is really important in terms of our circadian rhythms for our melatonin levels, for the awakening our brain, we have to ensure that we have enough DHA, especially for our eyes. So make sure, you know, if you're gonna go with increasing more of the fatty fish in your diet, that's a great idea. If, you know, you're doing this in moderation, because again, we have to think about the toxicity in fish and heavy metals and things, one of the things that you may wanna consider is a good DHA supplement. So in making sure that you're getting enough every single day from a non-toxic source. Tip number three is to ensure that you're getting some natural sunlight in your eyes. Yes, the sunlight, especially the sunrise and the sunset, is very healing to our eyes and to our entire nervous system. The way that our brain functions is reliant on having enough of this natural sunlight in our eyes. So doing that, looking at that sunrise, of course in a safe way, you don't want to inundate your eyes with too much of that light from the sun, especially on a very bright day, but doing this with some calm Common sense is a great way to actually heal the eyes as well. Tip number four is to decrease the artificial light, especially blue light in your eyes. So we know that blue light, whether, and this is just a little blue light that I have, but blue light from devices. So no, you're not going to have this, but I'm pretty sure that you're going to have devices such as your cell phone, your tablets, your TV screens, all of that blue light radiation into your eyes is very damaging to the eyes. So you want to decrease that as much as possible. You can purchase some of the blue light blocking glasses. Really important to wear those, especially after the sun has set because this will help with your circadian rhythms and your sleep and your melatonin as well. Tip number five is to increase lutein. So lutein is a specific nutrient that's needed again for our eyes, especially for the macula at the back of our eyes. And it has antioxidant properties. So lutein as well as zeaxanthin. So so usually 10 milligrams of lutein and about two milligrams of zeaxanthin every day is something that you can take in a good high quality supplement. I'm sure that we'll share some links below so that to help you out, to point you in the right direction there. But of course, getting it from a whole food source of that lutein to feed your eyes with the antioxidants that it needs can really go a long way at helping with your eye health, your vision, but also for those floaters.
And tip number six is to do some eye exercises. So this is a great way to relax the ciliary muscles. So we have muscles, yes, on the outside of our eyes. And with eye strain and often looking at the same distance for a long time, this can put a lot of strain on these muscles. So what we wanna do is relax those muscles actively. And we have to consciously think about how we're doing this. So let's do this eye exercise together. This is from the Bates method. And this is fantastic for relaxing those eyes, but it can help really help with the floaters as well. So it's called palming. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna rub your hands together to generate some heat and do that for a few moments. And then all you're gonna do, and ideally, and let me move my things out of the way, ideally what you're going to do is to be able to rest your elbows on a surface so that you're not having to hold up um, your muscles to, and so you can fully relax. So you're gonna rub your hands together. So this could be, you know, resting your, your elbows on your knees as well, but on a, a surface like a table is fantastic. So again, create that heat, and then all you're gonna do is cup your eyes. So you're closing your eyes, but you're cupping your eyes and just allow your eyes to completely relax. And this is amazing because even myself, with being in the studio all day and all the bright lights in my eyes, this like it's really helping me right in the moment right now to be able to relax my eyes. And doing this a few times a day, especially if you're on a screen um, for your work or pleasure, you're you know scrolling through TikToks and Facebook and YouTube, watching your videos on your devices, it can put some strain on your eyes. So you definitely want to make sure that you're protecting yourself and do that palming method, the Bates method. It is fantastic and you know also look at the other tips that I shared today it will really help with those floaters and I want to hear from you so please let me know in the comments also if you've got some questions about anything that I mentioned in this video I would love to hear from you I do get back to everyone be sure to share this video as well with someone who you know will benefit from this information and please give me a thumbs up I truly appreciate all your positive feedback if you're new here welcome to my channel I hope that you will subscribe right now and also click that bell by turning on their notifications you'll always know when we upload a new video and that's happening every day and most days it's two videos a day so you'll be right at the top of the list to receive all of my new content which I hope that you will appreciate and remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally thanks for watching today